Hey, it's Dima Mixon from the 4th Street Sports Show. Want to give you some instant reactions uh, to the Southern Miss news that just broke just about an hour ago as we're recording this recording this at 12.30ish. Um, on a, on Tuesday, May 16th, the news just broke. Southern Miss head coach Scott Barry uh, announcing retirement at the end of the 2023 season. You know, it's funny. Um, we do these instant reactions when we're on the field and uh, at the stadiums we're out or whatever, but you're seeing this from Dima's house, so that's cool. But Southern Miss baseball head coach Scott Barry, uh, obviously you watching this, you know this, um, the winningest head coach in Southern Miss baseball history. Um, you know, he's been head coach at Southern Miss for 14 seasons. He's been a part of the program for 23 years um, as he joined the staff with uh, former head coach Corky Palmer uh, in 2001 uh, is when Scott Berry first came on staff here at Southern Miss. Um, he's compiled a 517 and 271 record uh, entering the final stretch of this season. So there's still baseball to be played. There's still a a tournament to be played uh, for Southern Miss uh, this postseason. So uh, Scott Berry will still be on the sidelines uh, as you go to the games and stuff. Uh, the accolades that Scott Berry has achieved is um, just unbelievable. Um, it's led Southern Miss to five regular season conference crowns, four league tournament titles, eight NCAA tournament berths. And of those eight berths, uh, he's led Southern Miss to two regional hosts, and he's led them to one super uh, regional host. Just from the press release here, um, Scott Berry has had 14 different players earning All-American honors, 28 players taken in the Major League Baseball first-year player draft. Uh, Matt Walner, one of his players, earned National Freshman of the Years in 2007. Um, Nick, Nick Sandlin was named Nation, Nation's Pitcher of the Year in 2018 by Perfect Game. Uh, Barry has coached four Ferris Trophy winners, honoring the top collegiate player in the state of Mississippi, and oversaw the U.S. Conference USA Assistant Coach of the Year four times. He has produced 36 first-team All-Conference selections. Um, just, just a, uh, you know, just an incredible, incredible resume. He is one of only four Southern Miss head coaches to lead the Southern Miss Golden Eagle baseball program since 1959, which is another incredible accomplishment. I don't think there's there's words you can say uh, to really express um, what Scott Barry has meant to not only Southern Miss baseball, but just to the Southern Miss community. I mean, you you know, you can go onto our website, go onto our website, sm2media.com. You can look at the immediate reactions um, that we posted on there. Just of just of this unbelievable news this morning, Jeremy McLean said, Scott Berry is Southern Miss baseball. That's what his quote was. Quote, Scott Berry is baseball, Southern Miss baseball. And I think that's a perfect way to put it. Anytime you think of Southern Miss baseball, you think of Corky, Corky Palmer, Hill Denson and, and Scott Barry, and I think that you know when you look at it, it's an incredible achievement. And you know you think of the four coaches who's, who's come here to Southern Miss. Uh, Scott Barry's probably one of the best, if not the best. You know he, every time we've talked to him about maybe his 400 wins or whatever, whatever we've talked to him about, he always says it's not me, it's the people. And and I think that's just the way to put it, right? Um, Scott Berry just has, has you know, he's brought Southern Miss baseball to the to the place it's at now, which is a national power that's consistently competing to get into the NCAA regional. That's consistently competing to even get further than that with with a super regional berth potentially, or maybe even a shot at the big dance in Omaha. And I think that's where Scott Berry wanted to leave this program uh, when he. Uh, announces his retirement right when he when he makes an announcement this big I don't think he would have left if he wouldn't have known that Southern Miss baseball is best situated right now one of the is is the best Southern Miss program situated to compete for a national championship in any collegiate sport outside of maybe track and field but out of the major sports at Southern Miss athletics that is where Scott Berry is leaving his legacy 
um, I, I think just for for us as a as a as a coll- collegiate sports news organization, what an honor it was for us to be able to cover this man for the years we were able to cover him, and, and we look forward to covering the next head coach. But I just don't know how it could ever be the same. Scott Barry has been the face of Southern Miss baseball now for 14 years for sure, and maybe even beyond that. Um, and I think that. You know, you, you look at these reactions. I mean, uh, Jason Munns, who was one of the greatest <laughs> beat writers here at Southern Miss, he said there should be a statue for Scott Barry, and I think that would be a great, great thing. A, a statue for Scott Barry. I think Corky Palmer should get one. Hill Denson as well. Um, you know, I think all four of them should get statues, and and I and I don't think that anyone else would would argue with that. Um, you look at some of these reactions coming in, um, uh, you know, just what a legacy that Scott Barry will have. That, that is, I think, what um, what this boils down to, right? That the legacy that he's leaving behind, but the future of Southern Miss baseball is so bright, right? You know, you when you have coaching coaching changes of this magnitude, you look at the program, you're like, man, how, how could they, you know, how are they going to be able to... Uh, to be at a place where he can leave the program and I think he's definitely I mean Southern Miss baseball is at a place right now I don't think it's ever been at this place before I mean you coming into the season nationally ranked right now they're on a 13 game win streak heading into this final weekend of the regular season people are saying they're definitely in the NCAA regionals which I would agree with you know they've gotten into the NCAA regional every single year for the past several several seasons I mean, you look at this, what Scott Berry has done, what he's changed Southern Miss Baseball into a national collegiate power that competes for the postseason. It, it's not just one that will get into the postseason every once in a while. It is expected here at Southern Miss now to get into the postseason. And, and people are even further than that. They expect Southern Miss to get into the postseason and win a regional and host a regional and that is just what Scott Barry has done he has led Southern Miss to the place where they can where Southern Miss fans can expect you know you come to Southern Miss now you're expected to win baseball games and it's been like that in the past but I don't wouldn't argue it's been to this weight where you know you drop a series to Illinois like this season and people are talking about firing coaches I mean it it, it has become a national power and Southern Miss fans love it Right, they love being that good and and love uh, what Scott Barry, and that's all thanks to what Scott Barry has done after after Corky Palmer did uh, bring them to Omaha in 2009. So, what an incredible legacy! Uh, just personally, I would think it's an honor to be able to coach him, not to coach him, <laughs> to uh, cover him. Uh, in these final two years, especially last year, uh, getting Southern Miss that insane season and um, you know bringing them to a Super Regional, you can only wonder what Southern Miss players have in store for Scott Berry at the end of this season. You can only wonder what um, legacy they may want to leave him. If that means getting him to Omaha and sending him out in the way Corky Palmer was sent out, man, what a legacy. And if you even think quite possibly... And it may be a distant thought, but national championship isn't isn't out of the question for Scott Barry here. Um, now, obviously, there a lot has to happen for that to ha- for that to come to fruition. Um, but let's not forget that where Southern Miss, the fact that we can even say that that Southern Miss is competing for national championships, that is thanks to what Scott Barry has done at this program. He has changed Southern Miss baseball to what it is now. Whoever comes after him, which might be Christian Ostrander, might be other people, whoever comes after him is living on past what Scott Barry has shaped this program to be. A program that expects to win and expects to win every season. Words cannot express what Scott Barry has done to this program, and I think everybody watching this would agree. So that's our that's my immediate reactions. Sorry, it's not a full podcast. Um, we're kind of in the transition right now for um, our new Fourth Street um, hosts, including me, and then we're saying goodbye, as you know, to our past hosts. So it's only me covering the rest of this baseball season. So getting used to a lot of me talking, <laughs> uh, but 
Incredible news. Scott Berry retiring at the end of the season. Still a lot of baseball to be played. We have a lot of baseball to be played. We have a lot of questions to be answered like when will Southern Miss stop losing, <laughs> stop winning? Um, and that question will be answered soon, um, I'm sure, because it's crazy to believe they would just win out until the end. But, you know, you never know. But a lot more to come. Go to our website, sm2.com, to read the full story about Scott Barry's retirement. You can also find on there the immediate reactions from the baseball world. We're going to link both of those below this immediate reaction. We're going to start doing that. Follow us on social media for me, at Dima Mixon on Twitter and on Facebook. Follow 4th Street Sports Show on Twitter and Facebook as well. And... Uh, for now, be looking for stories, be looking for social media updates on this week uh, versus Louisiana, and then I'll be in Montgomery next week for the Sun Belt Tournament. So thanks so much for watching. Follow us, look at our stories, go to the website, read the stories, and enjoy your day. And remember, drop in the comments um, your favorite Scott Barry memory and what he's meant to you if you're watching this. Thanks so much for watching. This is Steven Mixon with the 4th Street Sports Show.